Hi there, Yaz here, and I wanted to take a moment to talk about discourse and questioning from today's lessons on fractional coefficients. In the screen, you will see uh, my main slide for my PowerPoint presentation today, and you will notice that today we are solving and translating one-step equations with fractional coefficients. Um, many, many times, this is the fourth, fifth year that I've taught this lesson in seventh grade, and students have a really hard time with uh, two main things, the vocabulary, uh, fractional coefficients, um, vocabulary like reciprocals or multiplicative inverse. So it is definitely very important to spend some time at the beginning of the year ensuring that students understand this vocabulary. Um, but today I used a different line of questioning with my students, um, which I feel like helped them better than any other year to understand how to solve equations with fractional coefficients. So if you look behind me, um, I put up the terms coefficient and reciprocal at the beginning of class and uh, they did their due now and then it was time for us to review skills that they needed. So we completed this worksheet together, skills needed today. And the first thing that this worksheet asks them to do is to um, identify the reciprocal of each fraction. Now this is a new worksheet that I came up with today, so that'll be included in this section of uh, the lesson um, and the reflection. Um, the first thing that they did was again identify their reciprocal. They did that completely independently. Then I said we need to review some important vocabulary before we start going through this line of questioning which you see over on the right. We reviewed the definitions. They have notes that they use, so they told me what each of these words meant using their notes. Uh, coefficient is the number multiplied, that's a big deal, by a variable. And a reciprocal, which is also called a multiplicative inverse, is a number that you flip. That's how they describe it. So today, I asked them to do something different. I asked them to write it in algebra. The reciprocal of A over B is B over A. And then I gave them a negative fraction as well. The reciprocal of negative A over B is still negative B over A. So I wanted to make sure that they understood that. I answered any questions that they needed about that. Because of the problems that they would see during classwork, uh, those problems, some of them had negative fractional coefficients. So that lays down the groundwork for their understanding, is the basic understanding of vocabulary. Now for the line of questioning. I began by asking them to copy this question down here. What happens when we multiply a number by its reciprocal? And I asked them to use one of the examples from the skills today. So one student told me that they multiplied 3 fourths times 4 thirds, and they get 12 out of 12, which is one whole. Then I asked them to write down and answer with their neighbor the following question. When we isolate a variable, what should its coefficient be? And we discussed, this took some time, that it should be positive one. That is the time, after I've thought, after I feel like they understand both the vocabulary and each of these questions, that's when I introduced this equation here, 3 fourths x equals nine. By that point, a larger number than usual, it was really great to see, um, understood that they had to multiply by the reciprocal. This was a line of questioning this year that I felt was really, really useful to get kids to the main idea on their own. It's a form of scaffolding, I guess. By asking each individual question, I'm helping students, or guiding them rather, to make those connections. So I hope that's helpful the next time around that you have that lesson. Thank you very much.